Good morning, everyone. Well, it is 6.30 in the morning. Woke up about 30 minutes ago, got ready, and now I'm on my way to Sam's Club because I'm, I'd have to drive with the, with the shade down. Um, I'm on the way to Sam's Club to see if I can get some bottled water. Uh, my mom needs some, and my sister still needs some, too. And uh, they sent me because they can't find any anywhere either. So called Sam's Club and they told me that they will be receiving a shipment today. Now, the thing about that is that at 7 a.m. they'll open up for businesses, which we do have a business account there. And the guy's like, yeah, first come, first serve, and I guarantee you there's not going to be any by 10 a.m. when the store opens regularly. So that's why I'm on my way now. So I will show you when I'm there. Well, I'm here in Publix, and this is the bread section. Completely gone. There's like this, and that's it. So, bread is, is all gone already. And so, obviously, water is too. Well, Janice is not feeling the best this morning, but I got her some grapes and made her a nice little egg sandwich so she can have some in bed. She's getting up a little bit. She's just a little tired and... Feeling a little nauseous, but uh, you know, once she gets the day started, she'll be feeling a little bit better, hopefully. Right, babe? Yeah, baby. I love Thank you. you so much. I love you. I love you too. So I'm awake now. I did a couple things. Um, Paul went early in the morning, as you saw in the video. Uh, I'm awake. I repeated myself. I don't know why, but I. Wanted to help Paul. He's been doing so much. After he came back from home, I would think 7 in the morning, he got up at 6, went to Sam's Club. And I would think once he got home, he would go back to sleep because he has, doesn't have to be to, at work till like 10 ish. So, but instead, he's still preparing for this hurricane. So he's cleaning around the house, getting everything ready, everything prepared, doing things he has to get done. So it doesn't have to be waited till last minute. So he did not sleep whatsoever. So I was very surprised. So I woke up and I was just like, what can I do to attribute? I think that's the right word or contribute. I don't know the right word. Sorry, guys. What can I do to help? So I just went downstairs and I was just like, let me prepare the dog's food. Which took a really long time to do with my stomach pain. I had to take a lot of breaks. And I was just like, this is hard. And then Jackie called me and I was like, girl, talk. While I take a break, talk. <laughs> so I'm exhausted now and I'm probably going to put a heating vent on my tummy. Still have to eat Paul's breakfast. He made me a delicious breakfast. My delicious breakfast is too yummy to skip breakfast slash lunch now. But it's yummy, an egg sandwich with gluten-free bread with grapes. A perfect fog map FM diet. I'm excited and delicious about. But it just seems like with physical activity, my stomach pains just come back hardcore and hurts a lot. But hopefully I'm giving this diet a chance and it's going to work out for the best. I'm staying positive. Isn't it delicious, guys? It looks so yummy. Usual grapes and an egg sandwich. But, um, imagine that. He made me breakfast early in the morning with all the things he had to do for the hurricane prep as well. So, I decided to make the dog's food. So, hopefully, once he sees that, he's going to be like, oh, my goodness, thank you so much. That takes a load off of me. So, I hope he loves it. Well, I just did my hair, um... I know you see it in a braid again. It's just comfortable for me. It took a lot of abdominal strength or and I'm just tired now. So I'm probably gonna go lay in bed and relax. Um, Paul went out to get some of my meds. We're getting our medication prepared and I had to advocate slash fight for it for Paul's GI doctor. It was such a hassle. 
Um, they want him to go, it's a huge story, but pretty much, um, it's a long story. I guess I'll have to tell you guys this long, long story now. So, pretty much Paul still sees a pediatric GI, and he's been seeing them since he was diagnosed with Crohn's at 15 to 16 years old. Uh, the doctor has no problem seeing Paul. They, he loves Paul. But the office has an issue with Paul. The office manager has an issue with Paul. So she decides to take it upon herself to say, you need to go see a, you know, adult GI or a regular GI now. You cannot come see the doctor anymore. So finally, Paul needs his medication and she decides to tell her, him last minute, um, you need to go see a adult GI. You cannot come back anymore. Well, Paul needs his medication. You cannot tell him otherwise last minute too. And we're having a hurricane. So as a wifey, I take my role very serious. I'm very protective. And I can't imagine when I have kids. Very protective when someone is very rude or steps out of bounds with Paul, my husband. I get very defensive I pounce so when I saw how things were act playing out I was just like okay Paul didn't know what was going on I decided to call on my own and I was like listen here this is not happening let me tell you I did that role and I was just like are you the doctor no um the doctor has not told us that we need to go see another uh an adult GI because the doctor has seen Paul for such a long time and they are okay with Paul coming. The doctor is okay with Paul coming and Paul is doing Remicade infusions at home. And the last time we saw the doctor, the doctor said, please come and I would love to know how the home infusions are going. So these um, office people are trying to tell us, well, the doctor doesn't want you to come back anymore. And they're just making up rumors, making up excuses. And I was just like, the last time I saw the doctor, the doctor wanted us to come back. And the doctor wanted us to tell him how the home infusions went. So you cannot make up lies for the doctor. So I am requesting, because they don't want to give Paul the prescription, give Paul an appointment. They don't want him to see the doctor at all. And I was just like, this is unacceptable. So I um, put them in their place. Um, and we have an appointment tomorrow. Paul is debating for me to come to the appointment because I will put them in their place when I see them, when I see those ladies. Because I'll be like, oh, you were the lady who wanted to give me a hard time? Oh, you're the office manager who did not want to give my husband his Remicade infusion? Give it to him late, which built up his immunity and actually, you know, makes his health decline and gives him health problems and de is de detrimental to his health? Oh. You got a problem with me. So, I want to go, but at knowing Paul, you can be like, please stay home. You're going to have a commotion. I'm like, those ladies need a commotion. They mess with the wrong wife. But, yeah, that's me. I can't help it. So, he has an appointment with the doctor because we haven't seen the doctor for such a while because these ladies have been in the middle, you know, blocking every move, saying, nope, 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 doctor doesn't want to see you. I bet the doctor doesn't even know what's going on this whole entire time, but they have a, how do I say, kind of a revenge against Paul because they're upset with him because Paul tells them, Paul tells the doctor how his staff is doing. Once again, the staff is doing horrible and doing poorly for Paul's health and do things last minute, which is bad for him. So. I am going to let the doctor know and let the ladies know how poor they are doing. Yeah, so Paul was out and about the whole entire day. I guess still going for, what, what were you doing today? Well, I went to work. Work was pretty slow because everyone's freaking out for the hurricane. Obviously, they're not going to come and spend money on us when they're going to go try to buy water and supplies. So uh, we left kind of early and um, on my way home, I went to Walgreens to get some more medication to stock up on for both me and Janice to make sure that we're not going to 
die. run out mm-hmm. in Monday and be screwed and die. Our um, medication is on point. We're good on for medication. Yep. Then, um, what else did I do? Oh, then I had to go to Ace Hardware to get some lamp oil. Janice's mom has one of those old school lamps, the lanterns that have like the oil on the bottom, the little wick, and you have to turn the thing and the little 1800s wick comes out. 1800s lamp. Yep, pretty much. I call like. it an Amish lamp. No offense, but that's what it reminds me of. And it works and it's efficient. So I bought some lamp oil and some wicks for it and then uh, came home finally. And it is almost 8 o'clock. And I left at, what, 6? Yeah. So tomorrow we have an agenda, like you guys saw from earlier video. We have to deal with Paul's GI doctor tomorrow. I'm ready for that. Uh, I am actually pretty excited to see what happens because this is. Do you want to try to sum it up? I don't. I feel like maybe I didn't probably talk about it very well. My GI doctor that I go see, I've been seeing him since I was 15 years old. So he is a pediatric gastroenterologist. Now, obviously, I am a fully grown adult male. Now, he told me, as long as your insurance pays for it, and as long as you don't mind, you can come here as long as you want. My insurance will pay for it because I have an established relationship with him for many, many years. Now, the issue is his office staff are... (laughs) They don't do their job when they should. So I called them to make an appointment and show up and get a prescription, and their office was closed. Now, I went to his office, and when he sees me, he comes out, and I told him, hey, your office staff isn't doing their job, so on and so forth. He basically yelled at the office manager, and she doesn't like me now because I, the doctor put her in check. So when I called to get a refill of my prescription and to set up an appointment to see him, she told me, well, due to our office um, policy, you can't come to see him anymore because you need to see an adult GI. I was like, that's not what he told me. He told me I can still come. He's the owner of the office, you know, it's his clinic. So from there, she just kept complaining, telling me, no, 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 no. Won't let you see him Won't at all. Won't let me even see him at all, not even for like a final appointment. And in the meantime, I am trying to get a GI appointment with someone else, and I need a refill for my medication that I haven't taken in four or five days. And I told him, hey, I just need a 30-day refill, and I'm good to go. And they wouldn't even do that for me. So that is ridiculous. And... <laughs> I started complaining. I told them, that's fine. I'm just going to show up tomorrow at the office. Janice got on the phone because she got the job done where they gave me an appointment for tomorrow at 2.45 p.m. So I'm going to go and talk to him. And he, the last time I talked to him, he's like, I'm waiting for your next appointment because we want to see how you're doing on your medication. Home so infusions. Yeah, for my home infusions on my Remicade. He's like, I need to see you to see how you're feeling and if it's working for you to make sure that you're still okay. And that was the known agreement that I have to come back and now they're telling me that I couldn't so all that happened I have an appointment tomorrow I'm going to explain to him what's going on in his office staff and this is not the first time there's been issues with his office staff but when I talk to him he listens to me because I again I have been there longer than most of his office staff I've been I've seen him and been with him longer so yeah so we're excited for tomorrow (laughs) oh yeah oh yeah they're all gonna hate me even more which I, I really don't care but Hey, he's a great doctor. He is truly amazing, very knowledgeable, but his staff. office staff is the one who brings his, his office down. But truly, he is an amazing doctor. It's not his fault. I know it's not. It's the managers, the office manager. Yes. So we have a lot to do tomorrow. Well, one, we need to bathe Orion. Uh, we're a little so tired. I get to do it. I'm going to try to help. I did a lot today. I prepped, so anyway. I'm going to try to help. Mm-hmm. That works. And then we're going to um, do Paul's appointment. And we're going to do that. Um, Fun. So I'm excited for the appointment. <laughs> so let's do this. We got a lot done and we're still getting everything ready for the hurricane. So I'm ex- happy that we got our medications out of the way. So that's a good thing. Mm. So hopefully you guys like today. It was sh- simple. Not simple. Eh. We got a lot of things out of the way, right, babe? This you did true. a lot this morning, and I'm very proud. Thank you. High five. Thank you. Well, bye, guys. Hopefully bye. you guys enjoyed. Bye. Night.